Are you tired of using the same old song all over again for your YouTube videos? Let's review Musicbed and Epidemic Sound, two of the best options in the market for royalty-free music. Let's go, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Thomas from the channel Cinematic Journey from Beginner to Beyond. Welcome or welcome back. I hope you are all well and safe. Guys, in today's video, we will review Musicbed and Epidemic Sound, two software for royalty-free music. And, oh God, I forgot to remove it. Uh, I was using it just for the thumbnail. Uh, oh, by the way, let me know if you, what, you, what you thought about the thumbnail, if it was good, give a comment. Uh, yeah, I know, you will tell me that you clicked on it, so maybe because the thumbnail was good for you, but let me know what you saw. And at the same time, give a like and a subscribe for more content on this channel. Okay, guys, without further ado, let's go speak about Epidemic Sound and Music Bed. Before to jump on the computer, guys, let me tell you why I think you should have uh, this uh, kind of software, either Music Bed, Epidemic Sound, or other royalty free music uh, software, just because of the copyrights. Of course, you can play on YouTube the music you're listening on the radio just because of the copyright, so your video will be blocked, especially if you want to monetize your video, you will have some challenges here. So these two softwares let you monetize your videos, use a huge library of music, songs, and artists. They both got good artists. It's not exactly the same playlist and library. I will share that with you. Of course, if you're filming a video a month or a video every three months, you can maybe use the YouTube library that is at your disposal for creators on YouTube. Let me tell you, it's very limited. But like I said, if you're using it for once a month or every three months, maybe paying a monthly fee for this kind of software won't be as good. So let's jump now on the computer so we can see both softwares and you can decide which one is the best for you. And I will share, of course, my opinion at the end. Here you go, guys. This is Musicbed. So this is the layout. You've got featured artists on the main page, but let's jump right in the song. You've got also access to some playlists that we will review. So the songs on it, uh, as you can see, you've got the choice of future songs. What I like is straight, you know, the, the, the style. You've got as well uh, the type of beats, depending on your video before to listen, if it's good. Here, you've got the search engine, so you can search as well by artists, playlists, etc. So you can filter by genre, uh, so you can find G cinematic, blues, electronic, folk, hip hop, depending on what you want. For example, let's go in cinematic. And you can find music either with lyrics or instrumental. And you just need to click on it and you can play the song very easily. Uh, so kind of the first thing in find. And you can, for example, search for cinematic and go with the mood and you want something, I don't know, ecstatic. And now you will have a different choice that you can use for your music and you can search as well by artist. You've got the attributes. So if you want some acoustics, some Americana, atmospheric, ballad, beach, uh, song. So you can, unfortunately there is, there is just one song for cinematic uh, with beachy vibe. Uh, and you can also find the instruments. So plenty of options here, guys, to find what you're looking for. For the playlist, different options as well. And you've got as well, for example, some folder, uh, playlist, you've got Salomon, Light and Playlist. So you've got different playlists from YouTubers. You've got options here with the playlists if you want, don't want to find and search. Uh, that could be a lot of time, by the way, to find the right music for your videos just because you want to find the right one. And usually what I'm advising you is before to edit is to find the music because you want to make sure the music fits your editing. So uh, it would be a good trick to, to find your, your music first. So the playlist and the, the search is very easy. What I like about Musicbed is the quality of the music and the artist. At the end of the day, it's very good quality songs. What I don't like though, about Musicbed, as you can see, download with watermark, watermark song. So if you want to access the un, unwatermarked version, click the contact icon next to the song. So you need to use your subscription. And what I don't like about Musicbed is you need to put your project name 
you need to select the type of clients, the non-profit, small business, etc. So it's linked to your account. I'm on my account right now. That's the thing I don't like. If you want to download it, you need every time to enter this information. You can also purchase just a song, for example, if it's for individual videos, and you can see a single song is $59. So like I said, it can add up. If you're filming a video every two months and you're ready to pay $60 a, a music, a song, it's good. So if I'm looking at pricing right now, you've got multiple options. So the individual plan is $19.99 a month, only for personal use, not, not for client work, web, YouTube, Facebook, etc. And if your you've got monetization on your YouTube, it's limited to 50,000 followers per channel. So you need to think about that when you've got your YouTube, but to start, it's pretty good. And the business, it's $99.99 US dollars. So now you've got more access and you can have the ad network revenue for your monetization. So you can definitely use it for more and you can pay annually. Personally, I decided to pay annually because I don't like to have installment every month. So $159.99 a year for one payment to access to all music. Okay, now for Epidemic Sound. So you've got the layout, I'm on uh, my uh, subscription right now. So as you can see first, it, they're recommending for my YouTube channel, the type of music following the last one I uh, downloaded for my videos. Epidemic Sound, I will say, is more complete, complete in a way. I will say the artists are not as good as the bed, I think, but there's plenty of choice and the music is, is still good. It's very good music. It's just there is some artists that I prefer on music bed, but most of it, the, the library is amazing. You've got the choice, etc. So you've got the future here. You've got as well the future categories. So the trending, the uh, ads and promos, artist release, the corporate, cinematic, fashion, gaming, etc., etc. So you can pick which one you like. You can filter by genres. So if you want some beats, you can choose. You can see now it's uh, with lyrics. And if there is no microphone, there is no lyrics. You can share, of course, the, the music. You can find some similar music, which is good. It's a good way to, uh, to find. And you can filter still by moods. When you're in beats, you can filter if you want something eccentric. You can find more music. You can filter, of course, by mood. So if you're happy, epic, running, so you can choose really the type of mood. There is more here in the below. And you can also find by album. If you're clicking on the search icon here, you can find, I don't know, beats. And you can have different albums, different beats that you can listen. So, and you can filter by BPM. Uh, same on music bed, by the way, the length, same on music bed. Sorry, I didn't show you, but uh, if there is vocals and the type of music. So very complete here on the, on the search. So you've got access to this part of the stems. This is something music bed doesn't have uh, also. And this is why I like uh, Epitone is that they're including the sound effects. So for the sound effects, you've got multiple choice. You've got the weather, the snowball, throw. So it's winter in Canada right now. So. I used a lot of uh, sound effects for the winter stuff, but at the end of the day, that's the good part. You've got access to sound effects. It's not complete, there's some missing, but it's a very, very good start because you don't have to look for your music and your sound effects. You've got everything at the same place. So if you want to have some sound some, some design for your video, amazing for this part. For the pricing, I will speak after about sound effects and where you can find free sound effects, but look at the pricing for Epidemic Sound. So first you've got a 30 day free trial and the plan for the personal plan is $15 a month or $144 a month, a year, sorry. So it's very affordable, it's affordable I think. It's cheaper than Music Bed, remember? Music Bed was $19.99, and if I remember correctly, $159.99 per year. So Epidemic Sound is cheaper, and it's covering YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, etc. You've got one channel. The beauty of it, you can have unlimited followers and views, and it includes monetization, which you don't have on Music Bed. 
So it's less expensive just because of that, because you don't have to worry about when you're reaching out your 50,000 followers or subscribers, you don't have to worry about monetization and the price going up. If the, for music bed it's $1,000 a year, if you've got more than 50,000 followers. So it's quite a different investment here. Overall, good, both are good softwares. My art goes to Filmic Sound just because of the music, the sound effect, and the monetization that is included. So I think it's a good thing you don't have to monitor this part. I wanted to speak with you also about a software for sound effects. If you want to look at free sound effects, the software is Sound Viable and you can go on Sound Bible, download free sound effects. I'm using it quite a lot. You've got lots of choice. So it's also an option if you want to choose music bed because you prefer the music. Again, there is a trial as well, I think 30 days or seven days. So you can definitely choose which one is the best for you. Okay guys, I'm back. You're seeing my face again. Don't leave now. We will review the overall minus and plus part of both softwares. So to start music bed, good software, good quality music, good artist. Uh, I like music bed. The downside is really price. We're talking about $19.99 a month of $159.99 a year. Uh, the challenge is you need to have a certain amount of subscribers. So maximum 50,000 subscribers which could be a challenge if your um, YouTube is growing and you took the one year subscription, you will have to change plan. And the new plan for uh, people with more than 50,000 subscribers is $1,000 a year, uh, which could be very expensive depending on your channel. And uh, the downside as well is the download part. I think it's really bothering to put all the information every time you want to download a song. So for this reason, Music bed is good, but there is some downside. I prefer personally Epidemic Sound just because first the price, uh, it's $15 a month or uh, $144 a year. You don't have to worry about monetization, uh, it's included, and you don't have to worry about how many subscribers you've got because it's already included in this plan. The thing I like also about Epidemic Sound is you've got the sound effects. Uh, which is very convenient for this price. You don't have it on music bed. And you, could, you can also download just the stems you want on the uh, song. So that's a good plus, good add-ons on Epidemic Sound. So personally, I prefer Epidemic Sound over music bed, when I'm still using both depending on the video I'm shooting. This is it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope it was useful for you to decide which one is better for you between Epidemic Sound and music band. I put the links below if you want to give it a try. Uh, there is a 30 days free trial on both softwares. Also, give me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you're thinking about the softwares, or maybe which software you're using on your side. I will be happy to know which one you think is better. So let's share together our different experiences. And mostly, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Ciao, guys.